Hi everybody, it's Sam from Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my video today. I have box number eight from the Papercraft Society. This one's been put together by Bev and Sam who are bee crafty. So I'm really looking forward to, you know, creating some fun things with this. It's a little bit different to what we usually get because it's down the mixed media route, but don't let that scare you. You can make some fantastic things with this and I will share some tutorials and I'm actually going to be featuring this in a Facebook Live as well. So let's get into the box. As always, you have your beautiful designs on the front. This one has a silver foiling, lots of watercolor, kind of patterns there in fact that's what covers all of the box you can see it on the back there as well so, okay so creativity is messy I am very very creative and that's from Bev and here is Sam and Bev on the front and that's full of all your inspiration I won't go in you know in detail into that because that's a nice surprise for those of you that receive this box so we get our pockets so first of all we use that I have already had a little look in there and I've already gone through and organized this how I like it and I've popped my dies onto magnetic sheets. So open it up this way, I love all of this, really nice. It gives me an idea of the colors because it's always kind of a, a teaser as what you know your kind of palette is gonna be. So, okay, we have two large stamp sets. So usually you just get one. So on this one we have two and you can see what you get here. Let me just grab some copy paper there just so you can see exactly what you've got here. So you've got a large plate stamp, which has got like a nice script. You've got some dandelions, butterfly. You've got these kind of paint splats, brush strokes. Um, you've got like just more small little kind of details there. And then you have a bumblebee. You've got a tape measure and then just some like, almost looks like it's um, maybe taken from a textbook, just the lines there. You could certainly, depending on how you ink that, you could actually do a bit of journaling on there. So if you were to ink it in a lighter color. So they're really nice. And then underneath here, I've popped these here. So you have, you get two of each. So these are the papers. So we've got these two here, which are very whimsical. And actually, when I saw these, I thought they would look really nice to do the silhouette cards. You know, stamp on to this using your black ink and your silhouette stamps, and you can create a really nice whimsical kind of look. So I just imagined fairies kind of, you know, flying above the grasses there. Then you've got these two here. So it's taking those stamped images and it's already kind of done, I guess, that mixed media background for you. So for those of you that maybe aren't too sure on how to create this, they've already done it for you here because there's this is a, a die, I think, which you'll see, or is it the stamp? You'll see it in a moment, but there's that stamp I just showed you with the script and the line, sorry. So you could just write something on there. And then again, there's that script from this stamp. And then you have these two here, which is just crinkled paper, but it gives you a really nice look you could actually still write on that but you know use this as your you know your papers for your card making and you can pop your sentiment in the middle here and build up on top of that and then you've got these two sheets here where you can actually cut your sentiments so you've got quite a few there i like this one it's time to start something new and trust the magic of new beginnings every story has an end but in life every ending is just a new beginning that's really good as well very true so you've got them so lots of you know again something different which is what's always nice about these so pop that one back in there and then the other stamp set is this one here so you've got birthday wishes love that key butterfly and the bee time flies to and from you are loved beyond measure you have the key to my heart, thinking of you, and then all these nice images. I love the tape measure as a crafter, and I like my sewing and things like that. I think that's really good. This is great, you know, it can be used for so many different things, but it screams kind of masculine cards to me as well. Then you've got all your Roman numeral numbers along the bottom there. This is like some stitching kind of, um, yeah, it's just, yeah, it is just like a rough stitch stamp. But again, that's great for borders. So you'd put that around. Beautiful lace trim there. You heat emboss that. And you could even have that as some draping. In fact, that would look really good along the theatre card that I made. You imagine that as your kind of theatre drape. And then you could just do some curtains coming down either side. So there you go. If anybody's <laughs> wanting something for that card and you have this, you could certainly use that. So yeah, you've got a really nice amount there. The fact we've got two stamp sets is really good. And that the Birthday Wishes is two separate stamps, which is good because you can obviously mix them up with your other stamps as well. So that's those. Then we have two stencils here. Let's pop it on this yellow, which actually goes quite nicely with this kit. But you can see here, you've got your clock face again. You've got some pretty decorative borders. You've got your paint splats, those, and then the smaller ones. There's the butterfly there, which will look really nice stenciled. And then you've just got another cool pattern. And then this one here, 
you can see there you've got it's quite a damask pattern there I guess and then some swirls and everything on that one as well so that's those and then we have the dies. So like I said, I did put mine onto my magnetic sheet just so it holds them all in place. But there's that uh, dragonfly, which was on one of the papers there. You've got hello, and then you've got for you, and then you've got the gift tag, which is a really handy one. I mean, I've got a gift tag punch, but it's a rounded, um, I think it's rounded, I need to have a look actually, but that's um, you know useful. And what I did see, and I thought this is gonna be perfect, but the keyhole and the key is gonna be brilliant for when I make my gift bags especially when I make the designer, you know, handbag gift bags. And I've recently been sharing, you know, a couple. And um, yeah, I just saw that one there. I thought it would look really good um, to have on the bag as like the padlock. And um, the butterfly there, which I believe will cut this one here. Let's have a look. Yeah, it does. So you've got that, we'll cut that one out. And this must cut the key as well. So yeah, look at that, even better. I didn't <laughs> actually didn't even think. So yeah, that you'll have all that detail or you can just cut it using some mirrored cards, silver cards, things like that. That would look really nice. So yeah, I like that they will cut those pieces out for you. So that's everything in the wallet. It also says create imperfection. It is good for the soul of your creativity. This one says guilt is a wasted emotion. Craft whenever you want. <laughs> and this one says make your own choices in life. Choose craft. Okay, so let's pop all that away. In here, we have an embossing paste, and this is a really, really good size. So let's have a little look inside of here. It's actually a lot runnier than I thought, which means, let's just have a look. Yeah, so give it a bit of a mix, but this looks like a very thick acrylic paint, but it, it will have other things added to it. But this is gonna be brilliant for mixing. So you can decant a small amount onto a media plate and mix it with the ink colors that we have here. So then you can create your own colored embossing paste, which is great. Yeah, it smells like acrylic paint. So, um, but it will have other properties in it in order for it to be used, you know, more as a paste. Um, but um, yeah, that's, you get a lot in there. That's gonna last a long time. Okay, then we got our three ink colors. There's the three colors, really nice and vibrant, very much my style. And um, these are gonna be a great addition to my already growing ink cube collection from the Paper Craft Society. But yeah, you can just mix these. They're hybrid inks, so they will work with your alcohol markers and your watercolour. They've got a little, yeah, they're just popped together there so they don't fall off. They're always loaded with pigment, but again, you can just clap this onto a little um, acrylic block media plate and then just mix it with your mediums. You can add water to it and you can use them as a watercolour. So there's lots of ways to use these little, yeah, cubes of colour. Then we have a palette knife. So I've already got a couple of these, but to be, to be fair, it's actually really handy to have more because when you're, well, I do get quite messy whenever I do anything kind of mixed media, but um, I it's, have to clean them all straight away. If you've got a few, then you can kind of have one for one color, one for another. So it's quite handy to have another one of these, um, but they're really handy to, you know, get those great effects with the paste on your stencils and just to get some rough texture as well. You don't have to use stencils with the embossing paste. You can just lay it down just with the palette knife and it looks really good as well. We get our little card. You get one of these in every single box. This one says when all else fails, get messy. And that's Julie. And I believe Julie is their mum. And on the back of this, it says types of stenciling. Stenciling can add interest, dimension, color, and texture to your projects. It also allows you to develop your creativity. The best effects are achieved through layering. So why not have some fun with each, with these techniques? And layering is one of the main parts of mixed media. It's it's laying down all different things, you know, different mediums, drying them in between, um, and you can add a lot of layers. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to using this one. And um, let's see what we can make. So then we have our cardstock. So here again, very much my colour. <laughs> um, we've got a really lovely bright pink. We've got some craft card. I think it's the first time I've seen craft card in one of the boxes. It's a really thick craft card as well. So you can use these as your card blanks, but they're going to look really nice with the embossing paste just in the white on that. You can do, especially with the stenciling, you can get like a really nice lace effect um, when you work with craft card. So I might try that. And then we've got that lovely green. It's like a um, Granny Smith apple green there and then that lovely yellow 
nice sunshine yellow so there's some really fun colours there again these are white core yeah they're white core cardstock so when you rip these you get the lovely white core and also if you use your embossing folder on these and lightly sand them you get some really nice effects which are the kind of things that are used a lot within mixed media as well so you'll probably see me doing some of those things when I do the tutorials okay so that's everything inside this month's papercraft society kit from be crafty really looking forward to making some fun things with this one if you haven't you know heard of the papercraft society before have a little look at my playlist here because I show you all of the other boxes there so you can get kind of more of a feel of what to expect and um, I'll share the links in the description box below as well so you can go and have a look and you know just check out like the deliveries and the costs there's lots of different ways that you can subscribe to this and uh, yeah see what you think about it so thanks for watching and I'll be back very soon bye